Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to some more World of Warships and today we are taking a look at the tier 5 premium Japanese destroyer, the Kamikaze. The Kamikaze is very similar to the Minikaze in a lot of ways, at least before the nerf uh, that the Minikaze did receive. Now, this ship was brought back due to our glorious leaders at Wargaming and you can buy it for I think around 20... I think it's about $12 just for the ship and about $30 for additional doubloons, uh, mounts, and I believe silver and some other stuff. So I went for the $30 because uh, I kind of splurged on myself. I know. Shame on me. Uh, so the reason why I decided to get the Kamikaze, because like I said, the Minikaze did receive a nerf and I kind of want a little tier 5 destroyer that I can take out and have fun and earn credits and I actually don't have a Japanese premium ship uh, which is actually rather shocking because there is a couple ships I would love to get but haven't had the opportunity to get them at a togo uh, so let's take a quick look at the kamikaze versus the minikaze now survivability you're gonna see actually a big difference between the health pool you're looking around 2,000 uh, points different which isn't you know a huge chunk especially if you compare it to like say the battleships but for a destroyer for a tier 5 Japanese destroyer it's 2,000 more uh, health that you can uh, prevent you from sinking to the bottom so definitely something beneficial now artillery she is nice because her first three guns actually all face forward so they will rotate together while you, your back one gun is going to be a little odd one out now the reload time on the kamikaze is very poor it is 10 seconds versus i believe it's 5.5 seconds for the minikaze something like that with a range of 7.6 kilometers, not the greatest, and a turn time of 25.7 seconds. So it's not bad to first time. Uh, 2,000 points of damage for your HG shells and AP. So very, it would work better firing against other Japanese destroyers, but if you ever run up against a US destroyer or a Russian destroyer, you're going to be going right back to port. So artillery, it's not the greatest. But this is where the Kamikaze is far superior to the Minikaze. Her torpedoes, very similar to the torpedo setups as the Minikaze. With, but the major difference is going to be the speed. The Kamikaze has still the 68 knots. While the Minikaze is down, at, I believe, at 57. With a range of 7 kilometers, just like the Minikaze. And reload time is 47 seconds, so it's not terrible. And max damage is 14,400. So her torpedoes are very similar to the Minikaze, but they're definitely a lot faster. AA defense is not even worth it. You have one, two, 7.7 millimeters. You have worse AA defense than a Minikaze. So you do not want to be spotted and be focused on by enemy planes because you will not even be able to defend yourself moving on to maneuverability she is technically a little bit slower than the minikaze with a base uh speed of 37.5 knots the reason why you're seeing 39.4 knots is due to the fact that i do have the speed boost flag on my ship so it does bring it up to around the minikaze standards render shift time is 2.9 seconds moving on to the concealment detectability range by sea is six kilometers and detectability range by air is 3.1 so very similar to the minikaze obviously i went for the regular modules everything's upgraded and the kamikaze is fun it is actually very nice to actually have a ship that i can actually train captains on i am currently training my shirat suyu keep transferring back and forth so i can get my shirat suyu uh captain trained up so you can get concealment expert so very nice to actually have it but we're gonna go ahead and jump into a replay with the kamikaze see you there all right welcome back to a replay with the kamikaze and we are currently playing on new dawn we have a ranger rujo new mexico arizona bayern texas pensacola miyoko grasre 
Kamikaze, and two Mutsukis. On the enemy team, there is a Ranger, Ruho, and two New Mexicos, a Dunkirk, Congo, two Miyokos, Omaha, Emerald, Fubuki, and Fujin. So, a Fujin is actually very similar to the Kamikaze. Now, the Kamikaze was only offered, I believe, as a gift ship. If memory serves me, I might be a little bit wrong on this. But I'm very glad that they actually brought it back. So we are playing Domination, and I'm going to be taking B. B is obviously is closest to me, and I'm, call and I'm a little Japanese destroyer that has decent concealment. Now granted, if I had a 15-point captain, the concealment would be around 5.4 kilometers, I think, something like that. So it's very, very nice. Actually, it might not be 5.4. might be over-exaggerating there. But... Anyways, so Kamikaze, one thing you do not want to do is get in a gunfight with other destroyers. Obviously, Japanese destroyers, you have a better chance to actually fight against, but you still have that terrible reload time. Now, we do see smoke starting to appear in B. Gonna go ahead and drop torpedoes. But do keep in mind, there are only two de two destroyers on the enemy team, and one destroyer is teamed up with the Emerald. So, the Fujin is teamed up with the Emerald, and we can see shots coming in, and there is probably the Emerald firing on us. So, yes, I'm going to have to actually retreat, and in our push into B, we have to be careful about any CVs, because there are two CVs on this map. But fortunately for me, for whatever reason, as you will see as the game progresses, these CVs don't really care a little about a little kamikaze. That's fine with me. Now, I've been forced to kind of withdraw. The Fujin has disappeared. No longer is within 6 kilometers. The Fujin has the same concealment as the Minikaze and the Kamikaze with around 6 kilometers. And, but... One thing I did forget to do, and I do this sometimes whenever I get a new ship, besides almost running into ground, is that I forget to put a, any premium consumables on my ship. So I am currently running with a base consumables, and that's not really something I do all too terribly often. And there is the Fujin. Do not want to be fired on by that Fujin. I'm more concerned, at least by the Emerald. But fortunately, I think we're actually going to have some backup. I think there's a cruiser coming in as well. Let's quickly take over the camera. We do have a Graspe moving in as well. Fired my torpedoes off towards the Emerald. Going to make my way behind this island because, once again, a Emerald can chew you up fairly well. The British cruiser's AP do a really decent damage against any destroyers. So, yeah, I really don't want to deal with that. And the Fujin is spotting us. Going to try to get behind this island. Can we get behind this island without taking too much damage? I think we can. I think we're good. Now, like I said, the enemy CV, they really don't seem to care about a little kamikaze moving through their map. Because they're both, at least better yet, there is only one American CV that I do have to be worried about. But, like I said, they don't seem to care. Now, the Emerald is finally spotted. And I'm going to go ahead and drop some torps towards this Emerald. Going to try to base on where he's planning on going. He's probably not going right to that island. So, I'm going to fire one kind of towards the island just in case he does turn in. As well as some a little bit further behind. Now, the Grass Spray is being very aggressive. We do have the Emerald now firing on us. But... With the Kamikaze's rudder shift time, I'm able to at least dodge unless we get fired upon by another cruiser, such as the Miyoko, which is always fantastic to see. Now, the torpedoes are looking really well, but the grass spray does go down to the enemy Fujin, and the Fujin is very close, but we take out the enemy Emerald, and oh, hello. Looks like he just grounded it himself, and I'm gonna fire just one torpedo spread. And takes out the enemy Fujin. And now we're no longer spotted. Spotted, But in that battle, we did lose our engines. We're no longer spotted. That's always good. But since I don't have damage control quite up, I'm going to have to try to get away as quick as possible. Now, fortunately, for my captain does have last stand. So that means my engines will sort of work. I won't have the full speed, but at least I'm not standing still. 
There is a Miyoko around there somewhere, but we're not spotted and we're good. Now bees all ours for the taking. I'm very satisfied with that kill, those kills at least. But this is one thing. I just really think the CVs just negated the fact that I'm in B by myself. I have no support. I'm a kamikaze. So they just don't seem to bother me. I I, I, I don't know why I'm just hammering this away, but I am. Now B is going to be fully captured by us. And there was the Miyoko. Hoping he will come down this island. If he does, he'll have little room to actually maneuver and just waiting for him to be spotted don't want to drop my torps unless i really really have to even though the reload rate on the torpedoes are really fantastic and there he is it looks like he's actually going to go around he's not going to take the chance of moving into that island and being aggressive <laughs> well i i have no idea what's with me and almost running into islands but fortunately the kamikaze is at least able to slow up and maneuver away from colliding into islands so i'm satisfied with that now our team's doing fairly decent well we only lost one ship to their four and i think we're gonna be fine is someone saying chikuma what there's no chikuma oh unless someone's named chikuma hmm that's weird now he here once again I, I i know i keep talking about the cvs and i don't really mean to but we're kind of in a awkward position. I do slow up because I do not want to be spotted by the enemy aircraft, but there's the enemy aircraft and I'm going to quickly pop smoke. Now the Miyoko is pushing in and it looks like he wants to at least capture B, but at the same time he is spotted and I am not and my torpedoes have around a seven kilometer range. But right now, I do not want to drop torpedoes. Because if you do drop torpedoes when there are planes around, they have a chance of being spotted. And I really do not want the lost opportunity of my torpedoes hitting if they are spotted by the aircrafts. But here comes some more fighters. And great. Going to try to slip back behind this island. And the enemy Fubuki shows up. That is the, I believe, new tier 6. Japanese destroyer I believe that's where it got moved and just came into range gonna go ahead and drop all six torpedoes and this is kind of one thing nice about the low tier Japanese destroyers is the fact that their torpedo setup is in separate tubes like the high, high tiers you'll have uh, two tubes of three each for example I believe there's one at least one that actually has that so you can fire those and Oh, there goes Miyoko. Very nice. We got two torpedo hits. Definitely strike. Very nice. So you can launch your torpedoes. And since they're not separated, I think the Kagero, or at least the Hataru is like this. Kagero as well. Um, you can fire your torpedoes and miss completely because they're not separate. So there's always that. But Fubuki is low on health. And I think we might be able to take out the Fubuki. Let's see if we can. The damage on our HE shells is pretty good. And that is one dead Fubuki. So that is kill number four. But the enemy team only has 52 points. So if they lose a battleship, they are going to lose the game. So we earned a victory for our Kamikaze. We earned 324,666, the devil's number. With a XP gain of 6,142 with 308 free XP and we got two devastating strikes. Damage 54,495 with 11 shell hits, 5 torpedo hits, 3 incapacitation, 4 kills, 1 fire, 4 floods, 6 defended base caps, and 1 captured base. As you can see we earned top of the team with a base XP of 1,635 which is very nice to see, always very nice to see. Our torpedoes cause obviously the most amount of damage. These low tier destroyers usually rely more on their torpedoes than anything else with a damage output of 48,428. And most of it was due to the Emerald and the Miyoko. So thank you guys. You're so kind to give me that damage. So after everything is said and done, we earned 311,312 only spent around 13,354 so this was a very good money game and I will have to say 
I am sad to see my Minikaze go because I did sell her, but she also got nerfed. And it's nice to actually have essentially the Minikaze again. There are several tweaks and differences between the two, but it's fun and nice to have the essence of a Minikaze once again. And Minikaze was a Japanese destroyer that I really did enjoy when I was going up the line. It was actually a ship I had for a very long time, so long that my captain actually got concealment expert almost within either getting the Hatsuharu or even the Mutsuki. It was one of the those two and I actually got concealment expert because my captain was trained so long on the Minikaze. But other than that, we are going to go ahead and end this episode in this video here thank you guys so much for watching and if you like what you saw hit the like and subscribe button you guys have a great and fantastic day zai jen